the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, as we unite together in unity and prayer, we acknowledge and recognize the gift that we have received in Jesus Christ, but also his mercy that's poured out for us for reconciliation and peace. Together, we praise the mercy of our God. Lord Jesus, who are light and salvation, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, who have redeemed us and the world, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the healer of all the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy upon us, Lord. Give us of our sins, lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that may fervent in hope, faith, and in charity. They may be ever watchful in the keeping of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, you have the word. 
words of everlasting life. deeper. It's always been about growing deeper. 
any of you who may be married know that many times we will always be disappointed in our spouse. There will be always time we need encouragement. There will be always time we will face failure. There will always be time we might find betrayal and feelings of betrayal. But to grow deeper is allowing how that relationship survives and how that relationship grows and how love always constantly surrounds it and binds it together in the midst of all that. And one thing that as I read the readings and how they speak to me, it reminds us something about God, first and foremost including today's gospel reading about the word that has been given, that God is a provider, and that the nature of God tries to give, to bless, to support, and encourage us in our lives and our living. And the second part of it, it is, is that how do we allow what God gives us to mature? We've come to know in our right and faith tradition that Jesus is the place where we find that maturity we find lessons, but also we find a place where a human heart is able to receive God and truly choose to live in that grace. Trusting in the care of God who protects us and brings us to the fullness of life, we offer these our prayers. For the church, may she grow in holiness and charity in our service to the living and true God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may God's spirit of truth bring all people to set aside violence and greed to work together for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who grieve the loss of a loved one, may they find hope in the promise of Christ's resurrection. Especially all our beloved dead and the family of John Lukowski, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our faith community who are struggling financially or are underemployed or unemployed, may they find strength and encouragement through their faith and the love of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they rest in the peace of God's eternal light. And especially for all those souls in purgatory, their purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer you these our prayers today in love and hope for your generous kindness and mercy. We pray this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed God Praise sisters and brothers that our offerings, our prayers of thanksgiving, and all that become the sacrifice may be acceptable to God's goodness. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and God the Holy Church. sacrifice brought to completion buried offerings of the law except we pray the sacrifice from your safe faithful servants make them holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all grant this through Christ our Lord amen, amen. the Lord be with you and, and with your spirit, spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word for whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and our Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory, and in one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Heights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the Heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and after giving thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. Blaze our bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all your faith-filled people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy, and all those who have died alone. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Zachary, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, uniting ourselves together in faith and receiving the invitation that God has given us to grow joyfully in his love, we continue to pray Jesus' prayer for the coming of God's kingdom. And so with that faith and courage, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all fear and anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends and followers, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith. And grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. This is, this is Jesus, our hope and salvation. Blessed are we called to partake in the banquet of our God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but all may say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us continue to walk in the light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good and wonderful day. Thank you.